Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play stretch in Apex Legends without the black bars, how to wall slide, and other tips you probably didn't know. And before we start, I just want to say that we just recently hit 700 subscribers and thank you guys so so much for that. And with that being said, let's move on to the video. Okay, for tip number one, I'm going to show you how to play stretched without the black bars. If you didn't know, you can change your aspect ratio and resolution on PC. However, if you set the aspect ratio to 4 by 3 black bars will appear on the top and the bottom. To avoid this happening, you have to type in two codes in your auto exit file. If you have no idea what that is, it's basically a script you can run before the game boots up. To make this file, go to your Apex Legends folder, then go to config and copy the default keybinding file and paste it. Rename it to auto-exec and delete everything in the file, then type in this. After that, go to your origin and click on Apex Legends, go to settings, properties and the advanced launch options. In there, you have to type in plus exec auto exec. And if you haven't played CSGO or Fortnite yet, you may wonder why you want to switch to stretch. Well, stretch makes your horizontal view more zoomed in, which makes the bodies of the enemies bigger and easier to hit. Here's a comparison. And because we talked about the auto exec file, I'm gonna show you guys two more useful commands you can put in. The first one is a code that lets you mute all of your sounds with one click, and this could save your headset if you ever meet these Chinese people who make these loud noises using a specific software and then leaving the game right after the legend selection menu where you can't mute people. And the second one is a code that makes the minimap always face the direction you're looking at. This could help you identify pings on the minimap easier and could help you in the endgame with the zone where the structure of the place is really complicated because you exactly know where to go. And also in my opinion, it looks way cooler than the normal one. And moving on to the next tip, we have wall sliding. If you didn't know, you can cancel the landing animation by kicking the ground exactly on the impact. But the timing for this trick is very strict and it's hard to do it successfully every single time. Instead, try wall sliding. Whenever you're near an object while falling down, press space or look down. This will make your character climb up the wall, and if you do this at the last second of your jump, you're able to cancel the animation of your jump. By the way, if you didn't know, you can use your smoke as Bangalore while healing. She somehow has three hands. This also works with Mirage's decoy as well. And that's it for today's video. If you have found this video useful in any way, please leave a like, it really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.